Hello and welcome. I'm Melinda Akinami. Tonight, voters turn out to exercise their franchise in supplementary elections across the country, exercise a judge peaceful in many areas, and reported disruption of the process in Benue and Kano states. People's Democratic Party PDP condemns attack on voters in Gamma Ward of Kano State, vows to track down perpetrators and bring them to justice. Family of National Security and Civil Defense Corps official Mr. Olga Jumbo, who died in police custody, demand justice as police promise objective handling of the case. Thousands of people march against Brexit in London, call for another EU referendum. On business news tonight, Nigeria's MPC meeting next week, Monday and Tuesday, may ease interest rate on the back of temporary price stability recorded since the new year started. And on sports news tonight, Kogi State edged past Lagos State 42 points to 34 to win the 2019 National Under-18 Handball Championship. in the supplementary elections across the six geopolitical zones of the country and the federal capital territory of Buja, where the governorship and House of Assembly polls were declared inconclusive by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. While the governorship supplementary polls took place in five states, state constituency supplementary elections also held in 17 states and the federal capital territory of Buja. The 17 states where the constituency supplementary elections took place are Adamawa, Bochi, Bayelsa, Benue, Eboin, Edo, Ikiti, Imo, Kaduna, Kano, Kogi, Lagos, Nasarawa, Oshun, Plateau, Sokoto, and Taraba. With today's exercise, the electoral umpire is expected to conclude the governorship election in Sokoto, Benue, Kano, and Plateau, leaving Bochi State, where the collation of results is yet to be concluded in Tafawa Balewa local government area, which was exempted following a restraining order from the court. The polls opened in Benue State today, just like any other state, the sixth state and the federal capital territory. Voters in the 10 polling units of Malon Council World of Gare East, where election materials were burnt down during the March 9th governorship election, say they are pleased with the security deployment to the area to prevent any breakdown of law and order. <laughs> Benue State in north central Nigeria is one of the states where the supplementary elections is taking place after INEC declared the March 9th polls inconclusive. The people here in Mbalam Council Ward headquarters are heaving a sigh of relief as they exercise their civic rights in a peaceful atmosphere and their reasons are obvious. Uh, the election today is generally peaceful. There is a lot of security here in Agana Unit, Mbalon Council Ward of Gwe's local government area. Uh, unlike the other previous gubernatorial election, today electoral materials are left here area. Uh, we started even voting. I personally have voted. There is no case. We have a lot of security on the ground. We have no hitches. We are conducting the election in a very peaceful manner. The mood we had when those uh, violent elements came and destroyed the election material, the, the mood was like when priests and church worshippers were murdered here in our community. We thought it was the same terrorists that have invaded our community. But we later discovered that they only were after the election materials and they left. But today, the mood is different. We can see security along, uh, within our community everywhere and every place is calm and we feel safe. However, it is a different experience for the electorate in Chito Azendechi Council Ward in Nkom local government, where it is reported that suspected hoodlums burnt down electoral materials and INEC officials were lucky to escape attack by perpetrators of violence. The election in Benue State has attracted the attention of many following the violent incident that have occurred in the state, as well as last-minute political intrigue. With mixed reports of both peaceful polls and incidents of violence in the food basket of the nation, 
the residents can only hope for a peaceful end to the exercise to close the election season in the state. Election also held in 28 local government areas of Kano State today following reports of overvoting and violence in some ward and polling units. Although today's election has been described as peaceful, yet pockets of violence were recorded in some polling units, especially in the rural areas. Our correspondent, Nanchin Vincent, has the rest of the story. Electoral materials arrive in Dala local government area late, and this obviously raises tempers with voters expressed some displeasure over the delay. Even now you can see a lot of uh, chaos and a lot of people, and 90% of those people you are seeing, they don't have a, 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 a card here to vote, but they are here. And we don't know why they are, if you don't have a boat to vote in, in this area, why shouldn't, why should you come in the first place? Rather than they were here trying to create, but they didn't want to even the election to hold. Some polling units had heavy security presence, while others had disruptions by thugs who were unwanted guests in their area. The Deputy Inspector General of Police in the state, Michael Ogbizi, confirms reports of the attacks and he says the situation is under control. Well, the crisis uh, you heard about is either youth, you know, youth under age youth, friends don't, and uh, that one, pockets of them, you know, and then that one is taken, you know, taken, you know, was taken care of. And it had no effect on the voting, no, on, on the voting at all. Voters turned out and voted. A former governor of the state, Rabbi Konkuso, decries the high level of violence in the elections in some parts of the state, and he's calling the attention of relevant authorities. Uh, there's very quite few places where there was uh, election, uh, especially here in the city. But uh, the overwhelming places, uh, there was no election because the whole place was taken by thugs. Uh, people were going around with but, uh, ballot papers, uh, with uh, result sheets, writing what they wanted, and uh, submitting it to the INEC officials. So um, our prayer actually is to see how this election can be uh, cancelled and uh, rescheduled again. Uh, so that uh, we can have a better and, of course, free and fair election here in Kano. Returning officers have um, begun to bring in their results from the local government areas in the state. Um, the rerun election was take, um, took place in 28 local government areas today in Kano State, and uh, we're expecting that as more returning officers from the different local government bring in their results, the coalitions will start at the headquarters. From INEC headquarters, in Kano, Nanchen Vincent reporting for channels television news. Yes, the election in Kano was not entirely peaceful and that perhaps brought the state under the spotlight because of the pockets of violence reported in some parts of the state today. Channels Television gathered that suspected hoodlums invaded at least six polling units in Gama Town in Nasarawa local government area of the state. Gama Ward has the highest number of registered voters with 62 polling units. An eyewitness who sent this video to us said the area is a target for the suspected hoodlums because of the large number of voters there. He says the hoodlums snatched ballot boxes and disrupted the entire voting exercise. The Deputy Inspector General of Police in the state has also confirmed the attack, noting that the situation is under control. Elections have been concluded in Kano State, and the announcement of the results is currently ongoing. And staying with politics, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, is worried with the conduct of the supplementary elections in some parts of Kanu State. And the party is alleging that some of its agents and members were attacked today. The party is alleging that the attacks were carried out by suspected political thugs, allegedly with the help of sec some security operatives. The PDP claims the suspect invaded some polling units with dangerous weapons, chased away party agents, and prevented them from voting. 
The party says it has evidence of how its members were attacked in Gamma Ward and also alleged that four of its members were killed and many more injured. According to the opposition party, the suspected thugs violated the secrecy of the ballot process, beat up and chased away PDP supporters, after which they engaged in massive ballot stuffing. Local election observer group Yaga Africa is not just concerned about the security situation that has marked today's exercise, it's also condemning in strong terms the act of vote buying, ballot box snatching, and the use of hoodlums to intimidate and beat up voters. Yaga Africa is specifically accusing the ruling All Progressive Congress and the main opposition party, that's the People's Democratic Party, of allegedly committing the act in Benue, Bochi, Kano, Plateau, and Sokoto states. In the group's preliminary report on today's supplementary election, the chairman of Yaga Africa watching the vote, that's Dr. Husseini Abu, highlights areas where deployment of political thugs disrupted the process. Yaga Africa condemns the deployment of thugs uh, by the two major political parties in the elections. Despite huge deployment of security personnel for the elections, Political party thugs visibly attacked voters and disrupted elections in some polling stations in Kano and Benue states without any resistance or reprimand from security agencies. This is worrisome and raises serious questions on the effectiveness of security deployment for the supplementary elections. Yaga Africa notes with concern the possession of small and light arms by political party thugs in the elections. This illegal possession of arms poses a threat to political stability and human rights. There is a need to investigate the illegal possession of arms by a political party thugs and hold their sponsors to account. In view of the contentious nature of elections in some states, INEX should strengthen its oversight on the result coalition process. Judging from experience, coalition and returning officers should be put under strict supervision as the coalition process begins to halt any attempt to cancel vote arbitrarily. of results is ongoing in Bochi State, but there was a situation earlier in the day in Das local government area where voters chased out some hoodlums they claim are being led by some pol politicians who allegedly wanted to disrupt the voting process in their polling unit. The voters had gathered at the polling center in Kadadama polling unit when the politicians reportedly tried to disrupt the process. Many of them, however, refused to leave the queue, while others chased out the hoodlums and their backers with the aid of security operatives. There are so many things going on because the electorate here, we came out early. Unfortunately, we just saw strange people that they, they, did not, they didn't even have the voters cards at all, at all. Perhaps they are not even eligible to vote here. They just came trying to cause one confusion or the other. So our, the electorate here and the security agencies, they couldn't allow them. They tried to manipulate and enter, but no way. And all the electorate remain on their line, intact. They don't want any confusion. They say they have to cast their vote. In part two, after the break, more on the supplementary elections, and we have an INEC National Commissioner, Dr. Mustafa.